You are welcome to the teaching series of SS1 Physics. In this video, we will discuss various units of measurement and we will introduce you to this SI system of units. Now, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the meaning of units and measurement or units of measurement scientifically. You should be able to discuss or distinguish between the fundamental and the derived quantities. Uh, to start with, let us let us define. To start with, uh, I would like to define what we mean by measurement, or uh, what measurement actually mean in physical sciences. Now, what we mean measurement? Measurement simply mean assigning values, assigning numerical value to any matter physical property that is assigning values to physical properties of matter is what we mean by measurements when you assign value numerical values now measuring physical properties such as length mass volume density and temperature is always common in our day-to-day -day activities take for instance we might want to know the length of the arm or the length of shoes or to which we are wearing uh, height of tower volume of a tank density of substance temperature of someone who is sick and so on so we always do measurements in every of our day activity look at it measurement of mass measurement of volume there are many instruments for doing that now why do we measure to understand and any observable or any observations in physics we have to perform experiments and anytime we perform experiments we always require to make measurements several physical of several physical quantities such as your mass your length time temperature now uh what do you mean by quantity quantity simply mean uh the physical properties of matter which are measurable physical properties of matter that can be measured and described by number is called physical quantity you see property of matter that can be measured that can you that you can assign number to they are what we call quantity now there are many physical properties of matter like color like uh, the 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 color the texture and so on that cannot be as you cannot assign values to those ones you see, you cannot say the color of this thing is 2, no? You assign values to things that you can assign values to, except you have uh, you, you have made color to have, okay, let's say black is 1, blue is, that is when you can discuss color as one of the quantity. But nevertheless, we have some properties of matter that you can assign values to, like your density, the density of that matter, you can say it is, 10, 10 gram per centimeter cube you can say the volume of that matter is 50 cm cube and so on so you see those properties that you can assign values to are what we call quantities the physical quantities now examples of physical quantities we can say the mass of that person is 65 kg 65 kg uh, the length of the table is 3 meter area of all is 100 meter square temperature of the room is 300 Kelvin. Now, in case we also have to attach units, you know, you have to attach units to the numerical quantity to convey the relative magnitude, the relative size of that property. Take for instance, if I say the mass of the bag of rice is 50, the mass of the bag of rice is 50, does that make any sense to you? No. You wouldn't actually know how heavy the rice was since there is no context to what the 50 represents. Now, it will only make sense if that 50 uh, has a unit of measurement, uh, like you can say 50 kg, the mass of the person is 65 kg, 65 kg, not just 65. The 65 there represent the quantity, the 65 there represent the quantity, while the kg, kilogram there represent the unit of measurement, you see? now. The length of the table is 3, but in meter, you have to put a unit. You have to assign unit to any of the physical property or any of the physical quantity you have measured. You have measured. Now, 
Um, types of physical quantities. We have two types of physical quantities. We, we, we classified into two, the fundamental quantities and the derived quantities. Fundamental quantities, they are quantities that are basic. They do not depend on any other quantity to exist. Why derived quantities? They depend on either fundamental quantities or even on the self, on the on the self, on themselves to exist. You know, they depend on one or more fundamental quantities. Examples of fundamental quantities are mass, time, length, temperature. There are other quantities like uh, your uh, uh, current, your amount of substance, and so on. They are all fundamental quantities. Take for instance, if I say uh, cassava is a fundamental food, while all other food that depend on cassava are derived from it. They are the derivatives. Your maize is a fundamental food, while other food that depend on maize, like your popcorn, your uh, your uh, semovita pulp, and so on, they are all derived. So examples of derived quantities are area, speed, volume, force, and pressure, frequency, and so on. In our uh, in in our uh, in our next slide, we'll be discussing fully. We'll be stressing fully on those derived quantities that we have. Now, let's see what we mean by uh, units of measurement, the standard used for measurements of physical quantity is called units. We already know that. For example, meter, foot, inches, and so on are used for length, kilogram, pound for mass, seconds, minutes, hours, days, years, and so on for time. Now, what do you think should be the characteristics of these units? Number one, it must be well defined. It must be suitable. By suitable, size, reproduc uh, reproducible, it must be very invariable, indestructible, it must be internationally accepted. And that is why you are here today to see which uh, units are internationally accepted. We have the centimeter, the centimeter gram uh, seconds uh, units, system of units, where which was introduced by Gaussian system. It's known as Gaussian system of units, where he used centimeter for length, he used gram for mass, and he used seconds for time. We have the MKS system of units. M there simply means millimeter. The for, for length, a kilogram for mass, and the seconds for time, which was introduced in France, known as the French system. Uh, the next, we have the FPS system, where we use foot for mass, I mean foot for length, pound for mass, and the seconds for time, which was introduced in Britain, and is known as the British system. Now, the international system of units, the SI unit, uh, was introduced in 1971, which is internationally accepted units. It is known as the SI unit. Here we use meter for length. We use a uh, uh, gram, I mean kilogram for mass, and we use seconds for time. Don't forget that. Now let's see the various seven. We have seven fundamental quantities, and which means we must also have seven fundamental units, which we have the length measured in meter symbol m the mass measured in kilogram kilogram kg time measured in seconds s temperature in kelvin electrical current in ampere luminous intensity in candela and the amount of substance in mole now all these we have here the unit we have here are si units of each of the fundamental quantities these ones are fundamental quantities they depend on no other quantity to exist now this come to a end to the to today's class don't worry uh the context to which all these uh, quantities are used shall be discussed in our uh, in other series now 
at the end of this lesson you should be able to solve this class activity send it back to me so that you can produce it to our next slide thank you very much